Praise God. Hi, hello, everyone. We're here, ready to pray. Pinpoint prayer team, ready to pray. <laughs> I want to show you my little sign I made on a, on a, a PowerPoint today. Can't they see that? Can you see that? Pinpoint prayer team. Is that in the reverse? Yes, yeah, so I was guys? thinking it might be in the reverse. Well, I don't know. It seems like they should be able to read it. Well, you read anyway, it too. Anyway, pinpoint prayer team. <laughs> Psalms 45 1. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. I said, join us each night on Facebook, Monday through Friday at 7 15 p.m. Ta da! <laughs> anyway. <laughs> That's pretty nice, guys. That's pretty neat. I did that on uh, Microsoft Word pinpoint. 2011 edition no I'm sorry 2010 edition for all you employers out there anyway uh, okay I, I have a little bit of cynicism but it's all good it's it's covered over in faith and so <laughs> glory to God you know we just gonna keep it keep it moving we're gonna keep it moving hallelujah sometimes you just gotta have a made up mind that you just gonna what I didn't do nothing I keep just it moving keep okay it moving. that's right mm -hmm. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. Well, praise God. Well, how's everybody doing? I can hear you all saying I'm doing fine. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. <laughs> We're doing fine also. <laughs> Amen. And uh, praise God. Well, <clears throat> I don't know how we're going to get started. I just wanted to say that it's so funny that since we started this, what we're doing, uh, praying for different places and nations and cities, I kind of just, in my mind, I just was figuring that we'd just, we'd just go ahead and start praying for all these different locations and then we'd just get off. But then now I'm beginning to realize how the Lord is, is mainly, he wants to teach why we're doing what we're doing. <laughs> so it's like, I, I, I just want to do it and get off and say, okay, I was obedient, Lord, but, but he wants more. He doesn't, he not only want us to just pray for these places, but he want us to have successful prayers. He wants our prayers to be answered. And the more I'm getting to realize that the reason why a lot of our prayers are not answered is because we haven't spent the time working on us. Because if if somebody is stuck, it's us. Mm -hmm. God is not stuck. Amen. He's never have been stuck. A lot of times I, I, I read different blogs and stuff like that, that they, people say that uh, I pray and I pray and God is, is, is right on time. It may take a year, but God is right on time. I have a problem with that because I realize God is always on time, but we are the ones that's, that's, that's stuck. And the reason why your prayers are not being answered is because things need to be removed out of your own life so, you, so, so the prayer can, you know what I'm trying to say, it can work. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm realizing that if it takes a year, it's not God's fault. It's our fault mm -hmm. because the Word of God says that once... Once we pray, that prayer is heard right then and there. The reason why we don't have what we have is because the devil might have came in with uh, coming against our faith, uh, causing us to waver, slowing everything down. But we stand and walk, stand on the on the word of God, knowing that what we're believing for, we have it right now. You know, I forgot to recharge this, reboot this iPad, so I don't see any problems. But I'm I'm praying that everything will work out okay. Yeah, so <clears throat> anyway, I wasn't expecting to say that, but I guess I'm I'm just, I'm beginning to realize we are beginning to realize that this what we're doing is making a difference. I mean, I know it's making a difference, but it's like it's really hitting me hard to re uh, realize that what we're doing on here every day, uh, Monday through Fridays, is making a difference. And while we because we're on here like we are, what what God is doing is He's. Uh, He's beginning to teach a lot of you all, because I'm, I'll be honest with you, of all the people, and I'm not trying to sound like I'm lack of faith, I don't feel like I'm qualified to do what he wants to do here, or we don't feel like we qualify, but we are basically trying to, our best to be obedient to the Holy Spirit, what he told us to do concerning starting a prayer, a pinpoint prayer team, like you say, it should be P-E, P-I-N, <laughs> no, it's P-E-N, and the ones that come to, to this broadcast are people of God that God has drawn them to come here. 
and um, and what we're doing is we basically gonna teach basic the word of God and then we pray we pray for the places and then what we do is every 25 days we add another city and another country on and then we pray and the ones that we already have we continue to lift them up too so we, in other words we eventually over a period of time we're gonna be praying for a lot of places but in the process of what we're doing, it's going to do something to you. And that's what the Lord has been talking to me about, that the, since we started this a few months ago, man, he's been really doing a lot of surgery on my heart. Amen. And, um, too. and it's like, man, I, I'm, getting, I'm beginning to understand things that I should have known a long time ago on how God works through me, how God not worked through me as far as ministry-wise, but worked work through me as far as my relationship with him. It's getting closer. It's getting tighter. I'm beginning to fall more and more in love with God. I'm, I'm a type of person. I'm, I'm a type of person with equipment. I, I, I want to know how faith works. I want to know how, how to move this mountain. I want to teach this. I want to teach that. But then on the other side, what is my relationship looking like with my father? Mm. And now since we've been praying for these different locations, I'm beginning to have I'm getting to cry more, tears. I mean, I, I just love you, Lord. I just love you, Jesus. It's I'm falling in love with Jesus. I'm. You, I thought you was already in love with him. <laughs> yes, I was. But I'm, I'm falling more and more in love with him. And that's not really what I wanted to talk about. Well, it's okay. <laughs> so I guess that was one of my personal testimonies. How you doing, Christy Smith? I, I've seen you come on. I appreciate you coming on. And also, there's a praise report from uh, David Francis about okay. Elijah. Oh, okay, the young man we pray for. Yes. All of us pray for. He's showing signs of waking up. He's trying to move his head. His heart rate and breathing react when he's touched or when a loved one speaks to him. Okay. I'm afraid to touch that because I don't want to mess up anything. Okay, well. But um, praise we're going to keep praying for him tonight. Amen. Um, we're praying that his the swelling, he, this young man is six years old. His name is Elijah. He was in a car accident, um, and and they they said that the doctors were saying that that they didn't think he was going to make it. And so we prayed last night, all of us, and pinpointed our prayers in that direction. And now he's starting to move. He's starting to have the, some things are starting to happen. Uh, we're just going to continue. We're going to pray before we get off for Elijah. Mm -hmm. And man, I tell you. Since we started this, we've been having all types of prayer requests, and I, I thank God for it. Uh, we had a young lady that was uh, had cancer. The, uh, the doctors checked her out and everything like that, and when she went to the doctor, they couldn't even find it. Are, are we somebody special? No, we just Christians that love Jesus. Um, Amen, just like you. Just like you. Mm -hmm. And so what we're doing is we're all learning to do this together. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll, I know for time's sake, I want to talk a little bit about praying in tongues, and um, and then we're going to start praying. Okay, we talked about how the Holy Spirit, uh, we talked about yesterday, um, about praying, God doesn't, praying in tongues loud, and praying in tongues uh, silent, uh, under your breath, it really doesn't make a difference, the only difference that it makes, if you pray quietly, you'll last longer. <laughs> But just because you're yelling and screaming at God doesn't mean your prayers are being heard faster. It's just that's, those are emotions and, and everything. Like we've been taught that. I've been taught that. I used to find, come against the devil. I mean, one time I was casting the devil out this young lady. And um, I was screaming because that's what I was taught to do. Come out of the house. Hey, come out now. Jesus name. Right. <coughs> come out. <coughs> come out. And my pastor, Dave Robeson. He went down and got on one knee and whispered. And then the lady shook and it was gone. And she got up off the floor and said, what, what do you guys do to me? I, I don't remember any of this. And I was very upset at the time. I wasn't very upset, but I, had, I was still learning all this stuff. And I'm like, what did, they, what did you say? What did you do? He said, I, I said something incredible. What was it? I just told it to come out. What? I've been doing that all the time. I've been screaming at the devil, and you just whisper. It's not in how, how loud you are. Whisper is the faith. And I began to realize that, so I, I know now. <laughs> but I have, everybody has to learn. So anyway, we talked about that and everything like that. But today, I just want to touch on, because of the time's sake, um, 
praying in tongues, the ultimate goal of praying in tongues. And then we're going to start getting into how to receive it. Not today. <laughs> I'm still trying to get a lot of you guys excited so you guys can receive it. The ultimate goal of praying in tongues is to cause the love of God to rise up in you. That's what, when, when we talk about the more you begin to pray, like we've been praying for these places, the, the Lord begins to take advantage of that time and begin to deal with you and show you things in your life that he likes to deal with. I, I used to think that if I pray in tongues, which is true, over a period of time, the Lord will begin to show me these things that he wants to take out of my life so I can, I can walk in more of his grace and more of his peace. But I, I didn't realize that it happened the same. He'd take advantage of it if you're just praying with your understanding about situations. But on a consistent basis, that will begin, he will begin to move and begin to show you areas of what he needs to work on. God wants to see you, your prayers answered more than you do. Because he know if he can find a person that's dead to the things of this world, I mean, you don't let those things have you. He can take you anywhere and drop you off anywhere in the world where there's no, no, nothing's happening there. And he can drop you off there and come back five years later and that place will be totally changed because of you. It's, it has nothing to do with skin color or whatever. It's just, it has everything to do with you walking with God. I mean, that's what he wants. A lot of times we pray, Lord, and I used to do it too. Lord, I'm having so many, so much problem on this job. I'm having so many problems over here. Uh, I want you to move me, Lord, to a place where other Christians are. So we can just kumbaya, kumbaya together and say, Lord, we just love Jesus. I don't want to be in no bad places. But God is not like that. Your father, he would will, he will rather put you in a rough place. Because he know you're strong enough to handle the persecution so those people can know Jesus. Amen. I work at a job. Uh, I work at a hospital. And I, I can't go around telling people about Jesus and everything like that because I can get in trouble. I mean, it's a Christian hospital. True. But I don't go around preaching on the job. I just try to live it on the job. I try to live my life as the word of God says to live. When you begin to just live that life, sometimes your your presence is stronger than anything that you may ever say. Mm -hmm. And so that's the way. And I have led so many people to the Lord over the years of working there just by being in the right place at the right time and just by walking in the love of God. And I used to think walking in, in the love of God was easy. <laughs> I, I just say, well, I just read 1 Corinthians 13 and try to do everything it says, and I'm, I'm, I'm there. No, you're not. <laughs> you just have the understanding of it, but it takes the Holy Spirit to begin to search your heart and show you things in you that needs to be put to death. And when you begin to let those things go and say, Lord, I need you to have set me free in this area. I, I will do a willing decision to walk away from that sin or that stronghold. And then he will come in there and cleanse you. That's what praying in tongues does. It causes the Holy Spirit to pray the perfect will of God for your life. Amen. And when that happens, he, you open the door for him to show you what's going on in your life. So we are praying for these places that we're praying for. And we are seeing results in these places. But the most important, the most wonderful thing about it is he's working on you. Because the stronger you get, you can have your own prayer team. And you can teach those people about prayer. And then more revival will begin. Because we have, I'll be honest with you, I personally, this is me personally talking. I believe we're like 20 years behind the outpouring that God is wanting to put on this earth. Mm. The devil has been neutralizing many of us over a period of years believing God for these this type of revival because once we I'm learning the closer I get to him the tax are just that much greater I mean it's like you go to you 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 pray yourself up to a place in your life and this represents who you are the flesh the way you live and you bypass that with your prayer and break into a new place of peace and that love begins to grow in you and then you dealing with something else that you have never dealt with before mm -hmm. like I I told my wife, I said, honey, we are, we must be step, stepping into a new place in God is because a lot of our re people that need prayer are becoming, it's really like, there's no way this is going to happen. It, 
takes a miracle of God. And I'm like saying to myself when I'm praying, I'm not going to be moved by how I feel by what I'm hearing, but I'm going to believe God with this person so they can receive their miracle. And, and the Lord is telling me the reason why it's getting stronger is because you can handle it. So that means if I'm being able to handle stronger attacks, that means we must be doing something right or we're moving up. And that's the yeah. same for you all. We are going somewhere with this. We are praying for these different locations and things are happening. Amen. And we cannot be moved by, well, things are happening, but nothing's happening in my life. But, but trust me, God is doing everything he possibly can to get you to the place to be able to receive your miracle in your life. This did not come out the way I wanted it to, honey. That's okay. I was going to go to 1 Corinthians 12, 31, talking about the... Uh, but covet earnestly the best gift, and yet, yet, yet I show you a more excellent way. I just touch on that, but I don't really want him, I don't think he wants me to touch on that. Okay. <laughs> ah! He wants me to talk to you all about the fear and torment that we all have. Hmm. And um, when you begin to pray in tongues, that's the wonderful thing about this gift, he will begin to go in there. And remove and show you first what the fear and torment in your life and then he will begin to re get you to the place that you wanted out of your life and then he will begin to remove that fear and torment and then you'll be in another place of peace see yes, there are so is. many levels of peace mm -hmm. and all of us have a form of fear and torment because uh, when, we, when we receive Jesus Christ all that junk that our parents taught us bless my mom uh, she did the best she could to take care of my, my brother and my sister and myself. But she had taught us some things that was not right. Some things were right. A lot of it was wrong. It was, a lot of it was coming out of her strongholds, the things that, that she had dealt with in her time. And she grew up in and she taught it to us. Mm -hmm. And so I, I, all that praying, what it did for me, it began to weed through what was right and what was wrong. And, uh, and the fear and torment about this and the fear and torment about that that has governed my life for a long time, those things are no longer governing my life anymore because I thank God for praying in tongues. Amen. Because praying in tongues, when, when the Holy Spirit begins <clears throat> to give you the utterance and you begin to use your faith and speak those words out, God, in turn, you are praying the perfect will of God for your life. And then he began to answer those prayers. And then he began to show me what's holding me back from receiving all God has for me and for you. And then next thing you know, that area of fear and torment, fear of this, fear of that, fear of this, fear of water, fear of, of people telling you what to do, uh, pride, all those things. He will begin to reveal those things to you little by little because you couldn't stand it. Mm. But see, that's the wonderful thing about praying in tongues. It's a, it's, it's a, it's, it's a position of truth. It's, it's the next level as a Christian to receive the Holy Spirit. And once you receive it, and when I say receive the Holy Spirit, you already have the Holy Spirit. But receiving it, as far as speaking in tongues, I'm talking about. But just because you speak in tongues one time doesn't mean you're filled with the Spirit. You just got to feel that moment. This is something you have to do every day. Mm -hmm. Paul said, I thank my God I speak in tongues more than you all. And it's just that automatic. It's not, you don't have to be in church. You don't have to have anybody laying hands on you. You don't even have to feel spiritual. And you can start praying in tongues. That's true. While you're driving, while you're cooking, while you're working, you know, under your breath, whatever. Um, it's freely given to you. Yes. And what it's doing is, is bringing you face to face with who you are. It's helping you help God with yourself. It's helping, helping you, helping God help you. That's what I meant to say. It's helping God help you with yourself. Wow. <laughs> I mean, you can't beat that. You sure can. I mean, the Bible says that we know not what to pray as we ought to. I mean, I can pray with my understanding, and that can go so far. But when you pray in tongues, you're praying the perfect will of God for you. So, Amen. what we're doing now is we're praying with our understanding concerning the places that we're, we're praying for. Baltimore. We started off with Chicago because of the murders and the things, things that are happening there. 30, 20 something days up, he said, I want you to pray for another place. So, the next place, what was the next place we started off with? Haiti? Uh, 
Well, we started with Chicago, mm-hmm. and uh, then we added. We started with just Chicago. Yeah, and then after then thir- you add, 20, yeah, after we, thirty we, days or so, we we added Haiti, the country Haiti, and then mm-hmm. from there we added uh, Baltimore, and then we added um, Ukraine and Detroit, and now we're touching on Japan. Mm-hmm. Are we really making a difference? Yes, we are. Mm-hmm. God is pleased with this. The more we have more groups like this, pinpoint prayer groups, call it whatever you like. We're not trying to get a following to follow us and we get tens of, I can care less about that. I just want to be obedient to do what he's telling me to do, us to do. Amen. But if you guys get your own group and pray for your own neighborhoods, speak, start exercising your authority. Mm-hmm. And then you will begin to see the changes that you want. Can you imagine that being on your account? I stand before God. I want to see him say, you did good. That what I gave you, you used it and used it to the fullness. And I'm pleased with you. Oh, man. That's, a, that's the most incredible thing. We don't realize how incredible it is until we get there on the other side and we begin to think like he does with the fullness and understanding that what we're doing now is making a difference as far as our rank or whatever you want to call it when we stand bef- when we get to heaven and we come back to the new world that he has for us all as Christians. I mean, he, he has so much in store for us, but I heard that the rewards in heaven is like, I hate to say it, but it's almost like the cocaine here on earth, people that's, that's fiending for it. I know that's crazy. I got that from my pastor, okay? Cocaine, <laughs> I just say the chocolate, all the chocolate. If you're a chocolate lover... <laughs> All the chocolate, the best chocolate in the land that you can eat. It's like that, you know. Well, I don't like chocolate that much. Okay. <laughs> well, you get like, your fair share, though. I like vanilla ice cream. It's like the vanilla ice cream <laughs> okay, all right. in the land. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me be quiet, okay? <laughs> I'm excited here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. Basically, the rewards are incredible. And mm-hmm. and you get these rewards by what you, what you have done while you were down here. And I mean... That's what we're doing. We're praying for these places so God can raise up people to minister to them. They will have an ear to hear. We're praying that the devil cannot take lives of these young people through through crazy gang activity or whatever. And, and we're praying for rough areas. I don't I don't care to pray for a place that's that's got it going on. Nobody has it going on, but I'm praying for the areas where it's really bad because he's putting us there to stand in the gap for these people dying and going to hell. That's what we're doing. I sometimes feel like I need to just jumpstart a lot of you all to to get you back doing what you already know to do. Mm -hmm. person like Mike, he's been with me uh, for uh, several years. And I love that man. He's faithful. He does does what we've been teaching here. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. All right, I just had to do a shout out to Mike. I know you too, Nikolai. You've You've been with me for about two years. I thank God for you too. Okay. We got to get started, honey. Yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're going to start off with Baltimore and then we're going to go we're going to go from there. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we we come together as a family in the name of Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. And we're Jesus. learning to pray together. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, Thank with our understanding, Father. we speak it to be so that Baltimore is saved. Yes, hallelujah. Father, we thank you that your angels are saturating that city of Baltimore here in the United States with hope. Yes. Saturating that city with in, in, in compassion to know you. Yes, Lord. Father, we pray that they will begin to open their eyes and their understanding, the church's will, as well as the unbelievers. You will begin to send the Lord of the harvest. You will send labors across their path. Yes. In the name of Jesus, that they may know you, Father. Yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, that thank the, the, the gain activity in Baltimore is dissolving yes, right now. Lord. We thank you that confusion is in their camp right now. All the gain activity there. We come against racism. Thank you. We Father. come against prejudice. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. In that Jesus. city right now. And Amen. I say the murders stop right now. Yes. And I even come against suicides right now in all these cities right now in the name of Jesus during this time of the year. Thank you. So, Father, we thank you right now that you will move in that area as well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, we thank you that you are just 
you are touching the, the the government, all the people that's in authority in Baltimore. Yes, Lord. You're beginning to remove those people that shouldn't be there and put in the people that should be there. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. For there to be fair and just practices, Lord God, that's going to help the, the community, uh, the communities that need the help, Father God. We speak it to be so that there are funds available to do that, Father, to resurrect community centers where kids to go a positive place, Father. We speak it to be so that those erected the north, south, east, and west sides of the city, Father God, that wherever there needs to be revitalization, that that funds will be there and people who will be able, uh, people of integrity within the administration there, Lord, that will be able to walk that out, Father, and see to it, Lord God, that the right thing is done by all the people there, Father, in Jesus', in name. Jesus name. And what's been done in the dark is now going to be exposed to the light. I get that every time that we pray for Baltimore. I feel like uh, politically it's some things that's not right there. And I, we speak it to be so that they are right and they're being corrected. And, and what's been done in the dark is going to be brought to the light. And it's going to be corrected. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. They're going to start reform programs for ex-prisoners. Lord, guys, time out. The, the U.S. has more people in prison than anywhere else in the world. And we, we don't rehabilitate you can't lock somebody in a cage and rehabilitate them you you need to retrain them they their thinking needs to be retrained so we speak it to be so that you raising up men and women of god to go into the prison system lord god and that's going to be able to help these people to to change their lives father hallelujah, hallelujah. we're calling them all saved lord yes god. Lord. hallelujah jesus all right uh for time's sake <laughs> We're going to pray for, let's pray for Haiti, the country Haiti. We're going to pray for them. I'm going to, I'm going to move it around a little bit. Father, we lift up Haiti. Yes. The country Haiti. Father, we thank you that your spirit is already there. Yes. Lord. And, your, and your angels are already saturating that country with hope. Thank you, Father. With direction in the name of Jesus. Yes, and Father, Lord. I thank you for the favor of God is resting up on that country right now. Yes, that Lord. the money is going into that country and it's and it's and it's going into the right avenues to fix that country up and to fix the people up thank in the you, name God. of Jesus. I thank you for that hope that's giving them that's going into the people there that's causing them to rise up and say no to the devil. Thank you. And God. begin to speak life over there. Over their, over their country right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And I, I already we spoke judgment over the government system there, the person that's in charge, that I've heard things that he's doing to people out there up in that country, and we command him to be removed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And replaced with a strong Christian man yes. in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And we thank you right now, Father, that those changes are taking place right now. Yes, Lord. Because the Everyone, we are just adding, all of us are just adding our faith to the ones that are already praying and already in Haiti yes, for their Lord. country yes, right Lord. now. Yes, and we Lord. thank you right now, Father. These things are happening right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. And we thank you, Father, that everything that has previously been done there in Haiti to hold back resources from those uh people that are in desperate situations. Father God, we speak it to be so that they have what they need right now, Lord God. They have the money. They have the clothes. They have the shoes. They have shelter, Father God. They have food, Lord God. Right now, in Jesus' name, and no devil in hell can tamper with that, Father. Right now, in Jesus' name, we speak it to be so. And we thank you for it, Lord God, that everything that has gone on there previously will no longer be tolerated. Yes, right Lord. now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. <laughs> Angels, send all those resources those people need right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. Angels, send the resources. Bring the resources. Protect the resources, Lord, right now in Jesus' name. And we bind the devil. That he cannot hinder those angels from doing what we command them to do. Right now. In Jesus' in name. In Jesus' name. And Father, we lift up Ukraine right now in the name of Jesus. The country, Ukraine. Father, we speak life in that country. We yes, speak Lord. we speak 
blessings in that country in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you right now. We call those people saved in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Angels, Jesus. saturate that country with more Christians that are rising up to begin to speak life over their areas where they're living in. And everything that's taking place over there. Father, we, we ask that you will somehow, we don't know how you would do it, but you will begin to rearrange that city to become one of the best cities to visit one day. In the Thank name you, of God. Jesus. And whatever the devil is doing in that, in that country, that is changing right now. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We speak it to be so that all of those, those cities in that country are changing. And the people are rising up and saying no. And they're speaking the life of God. Over that country right now in Jesus name. Thank you, Father. We thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you that the Ukraine is will never be the same again, Father God. We thank you, Lord God, that you raising even the Christians up there, Father, to believe and receive on Jesus Christ. And we're calling them all saved right now. And that's going to have an effect on the government, Lord God, and, and on what the people are being taught. And that they will begin to have a freedoms that they've never had before in history, Lord God. Yes, Lord. Religious freedom, Father, right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Father, we lift up Chicago in the United States. And Father, we thank you that Chicago, Baltimore, the country Haiti, as well as the country Ukraine is in that place we call done. Yes, Lord. A place where all your prayers have already been answered. We say that uh, Chicago, everything we've been confessing about Chicago is already manifesting in the natural there. We think that they got programs they have. Uh, the gain activity is not as strong as it used to be. They are weakening. Their confusion is hitting their camps. Uh, the drive-by shootings, all of those things are stopping now in the name of Jesus. You are waking up the conscience of the people in Chicago, causing them to want to speak life over their neighborhoods and command the devil to back off their neighborhoods. Yes. And even the unsaved is beginning to have awareness of your presence, Father, Hallelujah. in the name of Jesus, Jesus, and causing them to want to know more about you. And Father, we thank you right now that these are the things that are happening in Chicago right now. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That this ending of this year is going to be better than it was in the beginning of this year. Yes. In the city of Chicago. Hallelujah, In the Jesus. name of Jesus. That is not going to be known for murders. That city is going to be known for uh, the peace of God. Yes, hallelujah. And we can change things because we pray. Yes, Lord. And Father, we thank you that the people in Chicago are having a desire to pray. And Father, we call Chicago saved yes, Lord. in the name of Jesus. Jesus. No Lord. more people falling into hell because of their own lifestyle. But we stop the devil right now from killing these young people that don't know you. And they will know you yes, in the Lord. name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Even Father, the ones that are in Jesus. prison are having a supernatural experience concerning you. And they, they are making decisions to change in the thank name of you, Jesus. Father. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Man, I kind of switched it up. I guess um, Detroit mm -hmm. is the last one, and then we're going to go from there. Hallelujah. It's so funny. When I think of Detroit, I see churches, nothing but churches. Mm -hmm. And if the churches will rise up in Chicago, I mean, not Chicago, in Detroit, the city of Detroit here in the United States, they can stop a lot of the mess that's going on there. Mm. Right now, the churches have gotten entwined with the belief, unbelievers, the world system. This became a money. And I can say that about any place in the country, but right now I'm talking about Detroit. Change is coming to your city. Right now. And that change is going to begin to affect the churches. Yes, hallelujah. And they're going to rise up and repent. And the power of God is going to begin to rest in the churches. Thank and it's going to begin to spread through the neighborhoods. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Take out the ones that's not supposed to be there and put in the ones that are supposed to be there. Yeah, so that's what's happening now. That's why he's uh, talking to me about the churches. And the churches are going to have to rise up. All that mm, sleeping around, all that stuff. Well, that's going on everywhere. But right now we're talking about Detroit. And uh, God is getting ready to clean house. Because he has to. Because yes. the, the people are hungry. And they want they want to see their lives change. Yes, Lord. So he's going to begin to work in the black community churches. All right now. Hallelujah. Oh, you're trying to say the blacks is not. What about the whites? He's going to work no. in all of you all's churches. 
But I'm telling you, the power of God is, is going into the black community churches and cleaning house. Thank and the you, ones God. that are real, that's yes, not Lord. known, they're going to begin to rise, rise to the top. Up. Thank you, And they're going to begin to speak the word of God. And, and they, their hunger is going to override the foolishness. Their hunger is going to override religion. Yes. They're going to stop playing church and they're going to get real with God for real and get set free and delivered in Jesus name. Yes, hallelujah. And I, hallelujah. I see the, a lot of ministers that are really love God, but they're not known. They're, they're struggling financially. God is going to begin to rise them up into yes. this year into next year. Yes, Lord. And Give they're going to refresh it. And they're going to be encouraged. They're going to be known. Yes, Lord. In their area. Thank you, Father. And, uh, and I'm not just saying I'm just for the black people. I'm just talking right now, but God is is moving through all the races in that city. Yes, Lord. Cuz we're not color uh what is that? Uh bl blind to one race. <laughs> no. We love everybody. And we want to see everybody prosper in God when they're doing the right thing. Yes. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father. Okay, uh, we're going to pray for, I just feel to keep praying for Japan because I did see, I felt like the Lord impressed on my heart that the underground, uh, under, in the, uh, under the, beneath the surface of Japan is crumbling. And mm -hmm. so then I started hearing about sinkholes they've been having in, that, having in that country. That that country, the devil wants to do this to that country. He wants to just cause it to cave in on itself and kill a lot of people. So we stop that now, and we Thank command God. the angels to begin to to work on the under the ground. No more earthquakes, none of that stuff. Whatever's happening in the sea under there, we command all that to stop. We command that that city is sturdy, and that that, that country is sturdy, and it would not cave in on itself. In Thank the name God. of Jesus, we we thank you that though we call Japan saved. And we thank you for a mighty moving revival that's now yes, already Lord. beginning in Japan thank and it's going to increase. Thank you, Lord. And you get those people on fire for God, they're going to win the world. Yes, Lord. And that's what we're all about. We want to see people rise up. Thank you, Father. They're going to revolutionize their civilization there, Father. Yes. They're going to revolutionize their society, Lord God. They're going to turn from the things that is not godly and they're going to turn and to the face of the true and living God. Hallelujah, And Jesus. that is Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Well, let's, um, hmm. I have so many things flying. Ooh. <laughs> things pray I need for to pray. Elijah. Yeah, that's why I'm going to go pray for him. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, honey. We're going to pray for Elijah. He's the six or seven-year-old young six. man. Six-year-old. He was a, he was involved in a car accident. Um, and, um. David Francis, that's uh, that's his nephew. Well, it's his niece's step grandson, I believe. So we're gonna we already prayed last night, and uh, we praying believing that the swelling will go down, and we believe that he's getting. Uh, he just put a posted that he they heard they said he's starting to move around. He's trying to wake up. So that means things are happening. Our yes. prayers, our prayers, all of us. I'm making a difference. Yes, Lord. We're praying for all these cities and countries and stuff like that, and it's making us so strong. So when we pray for one person, it it, it happens. Praise <laughs> God. Praise God. So, so, Father, we lift up seven-year-old Elijah right now in the name of Jesus. And we say the swelling is going down. We say that he is not damaged in his brain. And we say he's totally healed in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. We call Elijah healed right now completely, completely in, Jesus, in name. Jesus' name. We thank you that this young man is going to fulfill the call of God on his life. Thank you, we Father. We thank you, Father, that he's going to come out of this smelling like a rose. Yes, Lord. We All his brain functions returning to normal, Lord yeah. God, right now in Jesus', Jesus name. Man. His brain being the, the main... Uh, center where messages come from and we speak it to be so that those are going to flow out to his mouth and to his arms legs feet toes hands right now in jesus name yes, we speak it to be so there's no damage to his nervous system there's no damage to any make of his major organs right now in jesus name Hallelujah. we speak it to be so he's completely healed in the name of jesus in the name of jesus hallelujah jesus <laughs> Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Jesus. There'd be no deterioration, no degeneration of any any of his um, senses, 
or, or fun, bodily functions right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, whew. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, Jesus. And Father, we just lift up. I'm just going to go quickly. <clears throat> I lift up um, this young man, wonderful couple, Lionel a Allen and his wife, Marilyn Allen. And uh, I lift up uh, Kathy and her husband from France. And we lift up um, uh, Mary, uh, Mary, uh, Larry Mack, great man of God. Father, we lift them all up, Father, and we say that, you're, that not only that their finances are, are moving in the right direction, things are changing, but you're changing them personally. Things that they've been believing God for is now coming to pass. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you right now. We lift these couples up and, and we call speak blessings over them father thank we you, thank father. you that your hand is moving mightily in their lives yes Lord. in the name of jesus thank you jesus we thank you father thank you father hallelujah jesus thank you lord hallelujah jesus <clears throat> and we pray we pray a hedge of protection over everyone that is participating faithfully in the prayer or or whatever whatever part you're taking in it as as a christian we speak it to be so right now that, that God's protection is all around you, his provision, his grace, his mercy. Thank you, Father God. We speak it to be so that no weapons formed against us shall prosper. And, and the enemy cannot come against our bodies, our property, our family, our friends, or our business affairs right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Um, I just want to say we're going to... We're going to continue to talk about praying in tongues. I hope I didn't run a lot of people off because I'm teaching on this subject. But you know what? A lot of us need to hear this. Mm -hmm. Because if the reason why your life is in a standstill like it is, I feel like I'm on TV. I mean, look at me. Look at me. Anyway, the reason why a lot of you are in one spot for so long is because you, this is what the Lord has been trying to get you to be filled, speak in tongues, pray your way out of that. Amen. And the Holy Spirit will show you what's holding you back from you being stuck. And that's what he wants to do. Would you look at all those hearts? Yes, that's something I'm saying. I, I see. Not to be so. I, yes. Amen. You know where not I get that from? Ooh. I get that from a, a great mentor of mine years ago. She was one of those great women of God that just poured everything she knew about God into me at a time when I so needed it. And so she would always pray that way. I speak it to be so. So I've been saying the same thing. Yeah, I'm saying it throughout the years. Yeah, and that's. But anyway, praise God. You know, uh, the spirit of God that we have yet to experience. Did you know that? I mean, we talk about new level, new devil. And that, you know, when you break through this ceiling, then there's always going to be a ceiling. And your flesh is not going to like you forcing it to adhere. Okay. But. There's a level in prayer and in peace and in the love of God that we have not witnessed yet. We haven't experienced yet as Christians. And I believe that's where he wants to take us today so that we can go and empty out the hospitals. We can go and empty out the uh, St. Jude and, and all these children with these rare forms of cancer. We can go in these places in Jesus name and he will show up. Yeah. So, because this next revival that God is getting ready to pour on the earth, it's 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 not going to have a lot to do with the gifts, but the gifts of the Spirit will be in operation. But it's going to have a lot to do with His presence. Amen. And that's what I wanted to get into when you, when when that love of God begins to rise up in you, it's going to result in the presence of God that's going to be on your life, so He can use you anywhere to Amen. change situations in people's lives. Hallelujah. I mean, one time we went to this person's house. The whole family was going through. They they all didn't have jobs. The, you remember that? Yeah. The heat was off. It was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. We prayed, and the presence of God came in that house. And next year, you know, in a couple of weeks, the, the husband had a job. The daughter had a job. The heat was turned back on. Things began to change. And that, that was just us. Can you imagine thousands of people with the presence of God on them because they spend time worshiping him. They spend time letting the Holy Spirit show them what's holding them back. I know I'm still on, huh? What time is it? Well, it's, you know, we kind of going way over what we said. But anyway, it's, it's all good. 
You look right. You look good on this. Look good. I love you. Thank you, dear. You want to marry me? Ooh. I think we already I did married. so once. I don't. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got to go. You know what you Anyway. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's why she loves me. Because that's I'm, why. That's I'm, why. I'm a bonehead. <laughs> You my bonehead though, okay, here. Oh, see that yeah. little burn? I know. Yeah, I was I was wearing a pot holder and still burnt myself. Isn't that something? And she was cooking for Thanksgiving. I know, right? Okay, yeah. I was helping. I was helping eating the food. Yeah, he was help smelling and eating the food, but that's okay. That's <laughs> all right. I love you. Oh, he kissed me on Facebook. Okay. Love her. Love you, dear, too. God bless you all. I tell you, I'm that ointment is getting all over me. The ointment. You remember that side I used to talk a long time ago? All <laughs> oh, that ointment. The anointing, but they say ointment. Okay, we got to go. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, we love you guys. God bless you. Have a wonderful evening. See you tomorrow night. All right. Bye. Bye.